Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. So today I'm actually going to be doing two exercises for the hams. One is going to be the range of motion exercise from Pilates and the second one going to be the stretching because I actually forgot to do it in the video with the hamstrings and uh, it's a really really useful stretch for your hip joint and really great exercise if you have uh, any problems with your hips or just feel tight overall. So as usual for this workout we're going to need a thick mat or two towels to uh, put underneath your back and we're gonna need the resistant bands you can actually avoid it with the first exercise but it's not gonna be a stretch it's pretty much it's just gonna loosen the hip joint so where are you ready I'm going to lie down now. Right. and I'm going to start with the exercise without the band so you're gonna be completely lying down flat making sure that your lower back is into the mat as you can see, my shoulders are in the mat too. I'm going to lift one leg up as straight as it goes. If it doesn't, you know, you can always bend your knee. And I'm going to point the foot. By the way, this exercise is intermediate. So by the way, if your foot does crimp up, you can always, you know, loosen it up a little bit, pretty much semi-flex it. Where are you ready? While keeping your back into the mat, you're going to bring it into precise circle, bring it back and hold. And again, as you can see, I'm not going too low because you need to make sure that your back is into the mat. Wherever you're ready, I'm going for three, hold it here, and four, and the last time. Now I'm going to reverse it, and one, as you can see, it's a very precise circle, I'm keeping everything tight, making sure my back is into the mat, and the last time. Now I'm going to bring the leg down. And I'm going to switch the side again, making sure everything is into the mat. As you can see, the foot is a little bit rotated. Wherever you're ready, and one, and two. By the way, this ones are much trickier than they look. It's a really, really great way to strengthen your hips and to actually increase the range of motion. And the last four this way. If you're really, really intermediate, you can actually go for 10, but it's going to be much tougher than you think. Now, with the band, pretty much it's, it's the same principle with the only difference if you're actually going to flex the foot. As you can see, it's in the middle. You're going to make it rather short, keeping your elbows into the mat. Your entire upper body is in the mat. You're going into the circle like this. It's, it, as I said, it's exactly the same principle. Keeping it pretty small. Well, you can try to go low, but making sure you can handle it because you need to make sure that your back doesn't arch when you go down. So if you can go for five one way and five the other, or you can do for 10, you can go for 10 if you're really, really strong. You're gonna feel a little bit more of a stretch. As you can see, I'm really bringing it back. And the last time I'm going to do the same. As you can see, I'm transitioning the other center. You don't have to do it this way. You can, you know, just do it separately. Make sure you keep your elbows into the mat wherever you're ready. And one, and two. Perfect, keep going. And three, and four. And the last time this way, wherever you're ready, we're going to reverse it. And the last four, and the last three, and the last two, and the last one. To make the exercises harder, as I said, you can always go lower or you can make the circle actually much bigger. Remember, it is much harder than it looks. And again, you can start with five repetitions one way and five the other, and you can go for as many as 10 one way and 10 the other. So the first exercise, the goal is pretty much to strengthen your hip joint. It's gonna be really working, you know, the outer thigh and to increase the range of motion. It's more of a physical therapy part of Pilates. And the second exercise is pretty much for the stretching and a little bit of the strength. I hope you find this video useful and I see you.